like some pretty intense character in this film, right? So I need to know the role you play and who is this guy? <laughs> I'm Tommy Wallace. I'm playing a character called Tommy Wallace. And um, I'm a cargo, I'm actually a, car, a convoy leader. Like you doing like intense stuff? Oh, maybe you can't tell us too much, huh? I won't get a secret out too much. No spoiler alerts? Yes, no spoiler alerts. What was it about your character? How did you prepare for your role? Um, the character was, uh, it was exciting. I, I enjoyed the role. It was basically, you know, me powerful. And uh, me coming, protecting a lot of fine jewelry and gold and money. So I think I'm the right person to protect. I would hire you to protect me? Yes. Look at this, right? Would you hire him? So how do we find you on social media and stay in touch with you? Uh, you can find me at Kenny Ray Powell on all my social medias, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and also LinkedIn. Describe you of the film in three words. You get three words to describe the film. What would it be? All funny and hilarious. Okay. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Nice to meet you. And what is your character about? Uh, this is a comedy movie, and it's a parody movie, so they do a parody of Mr. and Mrs. Smith. So uh, there's a section where they... There's a section where they do a parody of that, not the whole film. Um, and sadly enough for all the ladies, I play Brad Pitt. So uh, <laughs> when they may, when they say a comedy, they mean it. They mean comedy. Uh, no, so I'm the we, myself and my wife, uh, beautiful blonde from Bold and the Beautiful. We are playing the Mr. and Mrs. Smith type roles, where we are uh, very very sophisticated but badasses when the bullets start flying. So. so how do you prepare for your role? I mean, obviously, I know it's a comedy. Do you think, oh, am I, doing, am I going to go over the top? Like, what's the strategy? Well, when you do, any good comedy is based in a rooted reality. So when we were given guns and told we were badasses, that's kind of where you go with it. And the parody and the situation takes care of the rest, you know? And, you know, we have a little spat while we're shooting guns all the way or all around and stuff, a husband and wife type spat. And the absurdity of that is enough. You don't really have to overdo any, like, shtick. You know, that's the best comedy is when you do real stuff in crazy situations. So that's what we did. We had a great time. If you could describe this film in three words, what would it be? Wild, crazy, fun. Wild, crazy, fun. I'm getting hilarious, wild, crazy fun. I mean, I know I've got to see it. But before, exactly. But before you leave the carpet, social media, how can find, stay in touch with you, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Do you have oh, all yeah. of that? Every, anyone can friend me on at Sean M. Whalen. So, Sean M. Whalen. Yeah. Sean M. Whalen's my Facebook, at that guy SMW on Instagram and Twitter. Well, thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you. So, tell us the role you play in this film. All right. So, I play Nick the Boxer. And uh, pretty much, he's a gay porn star slash boxer. Okay. But you don't know that yet. You don't know that yet until you're watching the movie. You're like, what's going on? You know, what's, what's this guy's deal? And then, you know, you see me going there, bow, bow, bow. You're a boxer. You got to stay fit. Oh, yeah. I stay pretty fit. You know? I, I, <laughs> all right, everybody. He's fit. See my hands? I'm feeling the chest. It's fit. Like I fitness. Try. I try. <laughs> But, uh, what kind of preparation? Um, I know this is a fun film and it's, you know, crazy and out there, but what kind of preparation did you do for your character? Uh, I did a lot of gay porn. No. <laughs> <laughs> and he's a comedian. <laughs> I love it. Uh, no, you know, um, before I was in Philadelphia doing a play um, about the civil rights movement back in the South called Freedom Smitty. I played the lead guy. I played Freedom Smitty himself. And while I was out there doing that, I went to the gym of my good friend Jesse Guerrero's, which he has a boxing gym in his, uh, in, in his neighborhood. So I went there and I trained with him for about four months before coming out here just to make sure I was in shape and my movements were crisp like a boxer's. And uh, other than that, you know, just kind of working on being funny, funny enough to work with the rest of these screwballs over here so you know yeah so you did do the boxing moves in the film we get yeah. to see some of that yeah, you definitely do get to see some boxing in the film i also have a fight scene outside of the boxing so you know you'll see me here and there you get to see me move around and uh you get to see me with my shirt off so. <laughs> well, we ask how we prepared for the other part of his role but that's okay we're gonna have to see the film and check it out so how do we stay in touch with you your fans can find you on social media all right so you can find me on instagram angel anthony morero on Twitter, it's Angel Anthony M A. So it's just the first two letters of my last name. Uh, again, at Angel Anthony M A. 
And on Facebook, just Angel Anthony Morero. So almost everything Angel Anthony Morero. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Can't wait to see your moves on, on, the, on the screen and see what else you do. I hope you enjoy it. I'm, I'm sure I will now. <laughs> Thank you. Evan, tell us the role, the name of your character, and what is your character about? All right. So my role is Ace, and I'm kind of like a troubled youth uh, caught stealing, and Archie tries to, like, strengthen me out. But, um, you know, working with the cast was amazing. Like, I feel like I knew them forever. You know, I was on set a couple of days, but besides that, everyone was so nice. The director, our man who plays Archie, they were all just fantastic. James Duvall. Well, you look like a really nice kid. So obviously you're playing a troubled kid. So where did you like figure out how you're going to approach your role, you know, to make it believable for the audience? Well, definitely create like a different background, you know, maybe there's something wrong with uh, my parents or um, they're not around. So try to like figure out like a basis of why I'm troubled basically. And um, I'm caught stealing, you know, um, magazines, alcohol, so things like that, and uh, James Duvall, who plays Archie, tries to put me on the right track. Now, if you can pick your ultimate role in your next project, what would be the thing you'd want to do next? I think it would be awesome if I could play Spider-Man. I think, I think that would be the ultimate goal. Like, Spider-Man is my favorite superhero, and to play him, I feel like that would be amazing. Well, that would be the next film. We have to tell everybody that's your next film. We're going to do that. Definitely, that's my next film. It has to be. Now, I know that you, I don't know, did you see the film yet? I have not. Okay. So, what do you want people to, ha to come away with seeing the film? We want it to have fun, but what else would you want them to take away from this film? If anything. Definitely have fun and keep your friends very close. Yeah, because, you know, you let people go often. It's not good. You need to keep people as close as possible, possible to you. Well, young man, congratulations. But of course, now I need to find out your social media. So how can fans follow you and stay in touch on all your social media platforms? We need all of it. So right now, I just have Twitter. What? I'm about to have Instagram, but my, I love Twitter. You know, that's how I keep updated. But um, it's the Evan Fields, all lowercase, one word. And I'm about to get an Instagram. But when I do, it will be the exact same thing. Just gonna make sure that's the same handle across the board, right? Across the board, yes. Congratulations! Thank you so nice much. seeing you. Thank you. So, Bonnie, I heard that you are. Let me get this right. You're the film director, coordinator of the Temecula Film Festival. Is, am I saying that right? Is that the right title? Uh, it's well, it's film liaison project coordinator. Yes. What does that mean? That means that when um, producers and directors, location scouts come into the area, um, they need to have a permit to film. And so it comes across my desk. They have to fill out an application. Um, I'm the connection between the producers, directors, and the city of Temecula to make sure that everything is processed properly and they get their permit so they can film. If you had to get a filmmaker to be excited to come to Temecula and film, if you had to share one thing that they would need or you want to entice them, what would that thing be that you would tell them why they need to film in Temecula? I think it's the hospitality. It's the people. Um, the community is all about family. They're all about um, kindness and they're so willing to have filming come into the area uh, the hospitality with the housing the catering the business owners everybody is just so welcoming um, I know that entertainment factory group um, experience on the uh, garlic and gunpowder shoot um, out and actually down one of the streets a lady made chocolate chip cookies and brought them to them so it's very special. The community is very accepting of the filming and excited. And the website for people to find out more? FilmTemecula.com. So if I come out there, you'll give me a tour of all the cool places to visit in Temecula if we come and check it out? Oh, yes, absolutely. The Hotel Temecula is historical from the 1800s. Um, oh, we have tons of historical sites in Temecula. You're going to have to come and get a tour. Oh, I'd love for you to. I'd be more than happy to assist you. Well, thank you so much, and thank you for being here to support this uh, fabulous film, Garlic and Gunpowder. Yes, and we're really excited about the next film. Uh, that Stephen Chase is going to be a directorial debut for Stan the Man, coming soon to Temecula again. Well, thank you so much for coming to support this film. So what are you expecting from tonight's film? 
God, thank you so much for inviting me. I live in Florida and also in Texas, and I am very uh, happy to be here, and I hope uh, this comedy make you laugh as uh, I already laughed and uh, had a great time. And so, nothing, just uh, hoping that we can start the next movie uh, very soon, Stand on the Man, uh, which uh, I have a very beautiful role, and I'm very excited about it. Can you share with us a little tiny bit what your role is without giving too much away? Whatever you can share with us, share with us, but not giving too much away. What can you tell us about your role? If well, anything. It's going to be a surprise, and they told me, uh, sign here that you are not going to give the secret away, so I have to. But I can tell you about a little bit about my movie that is about to be out there. Uh, my movie is called Bad Actress. And uh, since I'm from Colombia, I am Latina, very proud of my Latina. And a very beautiful Latina at that, I must say. And so I said, um, I got to be in Hollywood. And, <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, yes, it's bad actress. And we already saw it in Europe, which I am very happy about it. And um, I hope that my comedy uh, called Bad Actress, I can, you know, it, uh, I can't repeat it enough because I want you to remember and especially I hope you remember me by making you smile or laugh and um, my intention really is to make something that um, take you out of the routine and the hard life that you sometimes you have and we have and, and um, so I, I did as good as I could but every day we learn so much more and my goal is to get there and you know I don't drink, I don't smoke and however I respect everybody who does it however I am here to work and I'm trying to to make it happen yeah. and how do we find you on social media to stay in touch with you how can your fans follow you well like I said my name is Exalina Ordonez and you can find me in Facebook and also Twitter and also uh, Instagram and my website is uh, exalina.com